Welcome back for another game. Story comes here. This one K. We're playing uh, Big Salmon today. I'm running Mono Black. Going first. And with ooh, with the Yorin, I got to know what you are playing, unfortunately. Let's see what happens. Come on. Is it on me? There we go. is not getting loose. We're gonna get that gifted anchor point. Let's try and get some damage and try and get some life points back. See how this turns for us. And we'll get there. Big swing. So, and next turn, barring some kind of board sweep or something I'm not thinking of, um, yeah, so we'll be able to get several points of damage in the next turn. bigger than we're going to be swinging with the Aether Horn every turn. There. And then get that out. And one more. There we go. That's really what I like about this deck is just in one turn there, that was a lot of uh, life swing in both directions, not just me gaining or him losing, so. Let's see what happens here. Big turn for Big Salmon. Big darn. Might be a conceived moment, depending on what Big Salmon has. The creature out. There. No, we did. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got so let's go ahead and get rid of Pretty straightforward piece there. That's surprising. Let's move to combat. Let's see what happens. Really not expecting much. Maybe a block. It's always tough in these moments. Trying to anxiously wait for either the rope, the comeback, or the give up. Um, well, shit. Interesting decision. Let's see what he does. 
That's what I wanted to know. right away. And turn this through my hand. And I think that'll end the turn. So again, just wanting to stay as consistent as possible, move the needle every turn. That's really the, the point of this deck is you have to push your opponent just a little bit each turn. For one and two casts of the black pieces I can put in that did that life swing. Oh, I'm just going into that, but the gutter bone, you, just, you can't deny how good that thing You've already seen it. I'm going to get the demon out. Not play the murder spider. Remove the creature. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and I also see that we still have Jorion hovering in the background. So we want to basically, like I said, every turn, press on. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That's the point of the Gifted Aetherborn, and that'll do it. So we're going to hold... Now, I don't have any instance at that one black spell speed, uh, so the reason I'm holding back is just in case something changes here where I need to block, I can block and then sacrifice before combat damage. That's the whole reason we're holding Come on. So let's see what he does. Uh, my guess is that this bad boy is coming in. It's my estimation. I can't imagine he has too many good cards in hand. And at this point, you're thinking, what can you do to kind of get yourself back in the game? That's going to be the the question. What can you do when Mono Black comes for you? Nah, that's what I figured. That's expensive, man. Paying all day to get that into the get that into the game. All right. Battlefield exile any number of non-land permanents. Return to the battlefield at the beginning of the next. Week. Okay. Draw on. Go ahead and destroy a creature. It's not very to know what this what this life is like. Yep. 